Hello, everyone. My name is Li Guang. I'm a graduate student at Information Science and Technology, Hokkaido University, Japan. Today, I'd like to present our paper with the title, Complicity Valuation of Medical Image Data for Classification Problem Based on Spectral Clustering. First, I'd like to introduce the background of our study. With the rise of deep learning, deep convolutional neural networks have been used in many areas. Especially in medical image classification, computer-aided diagnosis systems based on DCNN can reach expert-level diagnosis capabilities. And they can be applied to various medical images such as endoscopy, S3, PET, CT, MRI, and so on. However, there are still some problems that exist in medical image classification based on DCNN. First, it is time consuming to train a good DCNN model because of the repeated training process. Second, because of the uncertainty of DCNN models, it is hard to predict the final test accuracy. So, we need to evaluate the complexity of medical data size in advance of respectively. Next, I'd like to explain the importance of the complexity evaluation of medical image data size. First, how can we predict the final design classification performance on a medical image data site? By non all, there is an inevitable link between the final design classification performance and the complexity of medical data sites. Moreover, the complexity of data sites can be evaluated by the class overlap. As shown in the picture on the right, a large overlap between classes will lead to a low classification accuracy and vice versa. So we can use this feature to predict the final design classification performance on a medical data site before training design models, which can save a lot of time and computing resources. Also, it can be used to guide the reconstruction of medical data sites, which we will use experiments to illustrate later. Efficient medical data site complexity assessment methods are needed. Next, I'd like to introduce some related works. First, different descriptors proposed in reference to are shown effective for small non image data sites. Second, the method proposed in reference three is designed for two class high-dimensional biomedical data sites. And hence, cannot solve the multi-class assessment problem. So we propose an effective method for multi-class large medical image data size complexity assessment. Now, I'd like to show an overview of the proposed method. Our method consists of three steps. First, in step one, we transform the image feature from a high dimensional space to a low dimensional space. Then in step two, we use the downscaled image feature to construct a similarity matrix between classes. Finally, we use the similarity matrix to calculate the Laplacian spectrum and then calculate the complexity of data sites. I will introduce the, the details of each step in the following slides. First, in step one, for each medical image X, we input it into a design model pre-trained on image night to extract image features. Then we use multiple TSNE to downscale the extracted image features, which can save computing time in the next step. Next is step two. When we have the downscaled image features, 
we can define the class overlap with the distribution or image features that belong to different classes. For, for example, with the Gaussian mixture model theory, the overlap of classes A and B can be defined with the equation. Since it is prohibitively uh, complicated for calculating the integral, integral directly, we use the probability product kernel to transform it into a distribution similarity problem and then use the Monte Carlo method to simulate this calculating process. Monte Carlo simulation can greatly, can greatly reduce the amount of calculation. In step three, we will show how we calculate the complexity of a data set based on spectral clustering theory. Since the similarity matrix derived from the Monte Carlo method is not symmetric, and it cannot be used as a as the adjacency matrix for calculating the Laplacian matrix. So we first convert it to a symmetric similarity matrix with break curtis distance. Next, we use a symmetric similarity matrix to calculate the Laplacian matrix. From spectral clustering theory, the spectrum of the Laplace matrix expresses the similarity and overlap, overlap degree between classes. Hence, we can use a cumulative maximum of the gradients or adjacent eigenvalues of the Laplace matrix to calculate the complexity of the data set. Since the number of eigenvalues is the same as the number of classes in the data set. This method can be used for multi-class assessment. Okay, I'd like to introduce the feature of medical data used in our experiment. The X-ray images are high resolutions. In the data set, there are 815 images. As training data, we used 200 images. The rest were used as test data. We divided them into patches. We divided the path sets for 299 by 299 pixels. As a result, we obtained irrelevant patch images, I, negative patch images, O, and the positive, positive patch images, J. Moreover, we selected 10,020 thousand images randomly from relevant patch images as noise data. Next, I'd like to explain the data site setting. DOG is a two class data site which has O and G. DIOG is a three class data site which has IO and G. DO plus I1, G plus I1 is a two class data site which has O plus I1 and G plus I1. DO plus I2, G plus I2 is a two class data site which has O plus I2 and G plus I2. Then we evaluated the design test accuracy with sensitivity specificity and harmonic mean of these two metrics. Finally, we use the Pearson correlation between data set complexity and HM score to verify the effectiveness of our method. One of the complexity and the decent test accuracy results is shown on this page. First, the figure on the left shows the complexity of four medical data sites, where the image features are extracted by the exception network. From the figure, we can see that when the number of noise data increases, the complexity of data site will increase 
accordingly. The table on the right shows the test HM score for the data size, which are trained by the exception network. From the table and figure, we can see that there has a high correlation between the medical data site complexity calculated with our method and the decent test accuracy. In the, in the experiment, we calculated the complexity of the four data sites, 50 times with five types of decent feature extractor. We took the average as the complexity of the evaluation. Moreover, we train the exception model with the same settings on all data sites. Finally, we test the Pearson correlation between the medical data site complexity and the DCN test accuracy. From the figure, we can see that all the Pearson correlations are very high. The effectiveness of our method has been well validated in many modern DCN models. Next, I'd like to show the running time results on this page. The traditional method takes about 10 hours to calculate the complexity of the small ordinary data site CIVAR10 and is difficult on the large medical image data site. However, our method only takes about 50 minutes on, those, on the large medical data site. Moreover, Decent training on the larger medical data set requires more than 10 hours. Our master takes only a small amount of time compared to decent training and the traditional complexity assessment method. The proposed method can not only effectively estimate decent test accuracy, by evaluating the complexity of medical image data size, but also more than 10 times faster than the training of these models. Compared to traditional complexity assessment method, our method is not time consuming and can be used for multi-class assessment. In the future, we will validate the robustness of the proposed method on other data sites and optimize the proposed method with other spectral metrics. This is the end of my speech. Thank you for your listening.